Well, good morning, everyone. It's me, Pastor Jeff, and I'm here with your family ministry update. You know, last week, the kids did a great job. They got to learn in the elementary about how you don't have to be afraid to tell the truth, even when the truth may get you in trouble. It is always better to tell the truth. And they studied 1 John 1, 9. We asked the kids to go ahead and write out a verse and uh, send us a picture of their verse. And here's a picture of Dylan Rausch. He wrote out, not 1 John 1, 9, but actually the verse that they've been focusing on every week this month. Look at a, what a great job he did. He, is, he was so proud of himself. And he also uh, told his grandma that he doesn't think that he ever wants to lie to God because integrity matters to him. Great job, Dylan. That's a great goal. In the preschool, they were talking about how it's okay when you're scared. God is still there. And they looked at the story of baby Moses being put in the basket in the Nile River and how God was with him and watched over him. And they were given a picture of that to color. And look at this great job that Adam LaPerriere did. Great job, Adam. You even colored in the lines even better than Pastor Kenny. We're very proud of you. You know, in the elementary this week, they're learning an important lesson by looking at the story of Elisha, Gehazi, and Naaman. And that lesson is that when you're not honest, it could cost you other people's trust. And sometimes even more than that. In the preschool, they're learning that when you're afraid and when you're hurting, that you can talk to God and that God listens to you. Just like he listened to Hagar and Ishmael when they were hurting and scared. What we want you to do this week is we want you parents to send us a picture of your kids reading the Bible. If they're too young, get us a picture of your reading the Bible to them. They could be reading what their theme verse is for the month, really going over what that means. In the elementary, there is a daily devotional that they get called God Times that's attached right with the weekly videos. Whatever it is, we think it's important. We believe it's important, absolutely, to be reading their Bibles. And so that's what we want to highlight next week. You know, speaking of next week, we want to invite all of the kids to wear their Halloween costumes to church. We can't do our trunk or treat like we normally have done it because of the pandemic. But we also do want to provide an opportunity for our kids to wear costumes and to be seen in their costumes and to have a great time. And you know what, kids? That's a great service to invite your friends to because I bet they would love a safe place to come and wear their costumes and be seen and receive some candy. And we want to invite the adults to bring candy to hand out. We'll just go outside after church. We'll spread out. Kids can go family to family and they can collect candy in a safe place distant way. You know, when it comes to Halloween costumes, maybe you want to dress up as a cat or your other favorite animal. Or it's the great time of year. You can dress up as an inanimate object like a pumpkin. Or if you really want to go big, you could dress up like Pastor Dave, dressed like Gandalf the Grey. Whatever you want to do. You know, Halloween is a unifying time because you can dress however you want to dress and one thing we know for sure in these divided times, that when it comes to Halloween costumes, masks are optional. That's all we have for this week's Family Ministry Update. We will see you next week.